number eight, Lord Diane Fernandes. In May of 2021, a Brazilian woman opened up to the media about how a botched plastic surgery that was originally meant to correct a birth defect had left her with a nose double in size. As a child, 42-year-old Lord Diane Fernandes from Alagoas suffered from hemangiomas, groups of small vessels that formed lumps under the skin in her eyes, scalp, and nose. Fernandez suffered from constant seizures and nosebleeds that placed her in and out of hospitals on a regular basis until she was diagnosed in her teens. She then had several surgeries including one to remove the hemangiomas from her nose. Unfortunately, after the procedure, the tissue became infected and part of her nose collapsed, severely impairing her breathing. Surgeons repaired it by grafting skin from the inside of Fernandez's cheek, which helped her with the breathing but also permanently left her with a bulbous nose that was double in size. Even in her early 40s, Fernandez revealed that she continued being bullied for her appearance. By then, however, she claimed to have learned how to deal with the negative attention and was grateful for her health. Number 7. Shari Macon After a botched nose job, which she'd undergone in November of 2017, a beauty vlogger resorted to using leeches to mend the damage. After being insecure about her nose since her teenage years, Shari Macon opted for surgery instead of a party on her 40th birthday. She went under the knife in April of 2017 and was reportedly satisfied with the operation for which she'd paid over $19,000. Her surgeon then convinced her to have revision on the tip of her nose in November of that same year. It was after the second procedure that she experienced a lack of blood circulation, resulting in a discolored and massively swollen nose tip. The beauty professional fruitlessly tried to conceal the deformity that, as she put it, had left her looking like the toucan on the Fruit Loop cereal box. Macon, who'd reportedly used to advise Oprah and Goldie Hawn on their makeup routines, no longer felt confident to film her videos. After a few weeks, she consulted Los Angeles-based surgeon Donald Yu for a corrective procedure but was told that another rhinoplasty would potentially cause more harm. Yu proposed leech therapy instead. Macon was skeptical at first but ultimately agreed to see a leech specialist. Once the worms were on her face, she became more relaxed and even amused by the procedure. Macon saw major improvements after only a few sessions as the leeches had increased circulation by sucking out the bad blood and releasing a coagulant. In the aftermath, she scheduled a rhinoplasty with you. Number 6. Victoria and Leah Parker By 2016, British sisters Victoria and Leah Parker, aged 36 and 30 respectively, had spent close to $30,000 on plastic surgery in a relentless pursuit of self-improvement that had started more than a decade prior when both of them had gotten botched rhinoplasty procedures. They decided on the surgery as a self-confidence boost after years of being taunted for their noses, with some of the crueler remarks reportedly calling them beaky. Victoria from Limington, Hampshire, first went under the knife in December of 2004 and recommended the same surgeon to her sister who had her procedure the following year. Around the same time, in 2005, Victoria took the clinic up on its offer of free revision surgery and had a second nose procedure to remove a bump she claimed had been missed on the first. Both women would be greatly disappointed by the results. Victoria developed non-allergic rhinitis and further breathing issues from an intermittently blocked nostril. Leah was left with a crooked nose, uneven nostrils and a bulbous lump of cartilage at the tip. The sisters felt that their noses looked worse than before and reported that they began having more plastic surgery as a way of softening the blow to their self-confidence. In the years that followed, the enhancements came to include acid peels, breast augmentation, orthodontic treatment, laser hair removal, fillers, and semi-permanent eyebrows. The plastic surgery took a toll on their finances and according to the latest updates, the Parker sisters were saving money for reconstructive surgery on their noses. Number 5. Laura Avia in October of 2018, a Dallas real estate agent died after a rhinoplasty which she'd had at a clinic in Mexico went horribly wrong. 36-year-old Laura Avia opted for the rhino clinic in Juarez, where the procedure was less than a third of what she would have paid in the US. Her fiancé, Enrique Cruz, traveled with Avia and was by her side before surgery began. Complications developed almost immediately as the anesthesia was administered via the woman's spine. 
It traveled to her brain instead of spreading throughout her body, and she went into cardiac arrest. Surgeons were forced to medically induce a coma to prevent further deterioration to her brain. Staff initially didn't let Cruz see his fiance and told him they couldn't continue the surgery because her blood pressure had dramatically dropped. Avia was held at the Juarez facility for four days. Her family traveled to see her during this time, and according to Avia's sister, they were nearly held hostage by the clinic when they'd refused to pay the full amount for the botched surgery. The woman was eventually transferred to a university hospital in El Paso, where doctors confirmed that she'd suffered critical brain damage. Her family subsequently made the decision to take her off life support and stated an intention of suing the Rhino Clinic. Number 4. Anastasia Balinskaya In 2021, a Belarusian Instagram influencer and former reality TV star shared with her followers a five-year-long struggle with a failed rhinoplasty that had left her nose rotten from the inside out. According to Anastasia Balinskaya, who at one point starred in the House 2 reality show, her nose had swollen before the tissue started decaying, following a reaction to an implant. Desperate to correct the issue, 29-year-old Balinskaya underwent several more procedures, but each had left her in a worse situation than the last. The final surgery split her bone and the bridge of her nose looked like, as Balinskaya put it, she had been beaten in the ring. She suffered from breathing difficulties and no longer concerned with the aesthetics, only hoped that the functionality of her nose would be restored. The influencer pleaded with her followers to help fund in further treatment, claiming that she could no longer afford it and wasn't able to get a loan in her native Belarus. Balinskaya reported that doctors had told her she only had a few months before her nose rotted away entirely. Number 3. Vincenzo Zerlo After receiving Botox injections at the Millennium Anti-Aging and Surgery Center in Doral, Florida, Vincenzo Zerlo decided to have rhinoplasty as well on February the 15th of 2020. The procedure was carried out by 56-year-old Alcalera Jimenez de Rodriguez. Zerlo woke up in the middle of the surgery and even began asking Jimenez de Rodriguez how it was going, a moment that he'd look back upon and reference as, I saw her face as she was ruining my life. He was disappointed and in pain as his nose had failed to heal properly, leading to a second operation with Jimenez de Rodriguez in May of that same year, which was also unsuccessful. After the two operations, which had cost him a combined $2,800, Zerlo was left disfigured with a lump near the tip of his nose. He became suspicious about the woman's credentials when Jimenez de Rodriguez prescribed him antibiotics and painkillers under a different doctor's name. Zerlo asked for her insurance information and a medical license number, eventually contacting the authorities when she failed to provide the documentation. The authorities and Florida's health department began investigating Jimenez de Rodriguez, and an undercover agent was sent to the clinic posing as a client. They learned that she wasn't a real doctor and the police arrested her at the fraudulent clinic as she was in the middle of performing surgery on another patient. She was charged with practicing medicine without a license, with the authorities considering elevating the charge to a second-degree felony, given the disfigurement that Zerlo had experienced. In the aftermath, he was forced to find another surgeon to repair the damage Jimenez de Rodriguez had inflicted upon him. Today's topic was requested by Maria Day and Sunny Italiano. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Catherine Rowan In a 2019 interview with the BBC, Scottish woman Catherine Rowan revealed the ordeal she had gone through after a botched rhinoplasty. 41-year-old Rowan had chosen the Transform Clinic, a plastic surgery industry leader in the UK, and opted for Italian surgeon Antonio Ottaviani. Rowan was disappointed by the initial result and, over the course of four years, had three more revision surgeries with Ottaviani, who'd promised to shape her nose into the one she'd always wanted. Upon removing her cast after the fourth and last of the procedures, Rowan's nose was in a worse condition than ever. It was squint, a skin fold was hanging down to the side and there were additional problems with the tip. By that time, Ottaviani, a fly-in, fly-out surgeon, had returned to Italy. He offered to fix the nose upon being sent pictures of the shape in which it was, but Rowan had lost confidence in him and opted for a surgeon in England with Transform agreeing to cover the surgery and expenses. Upon reviewing her case, 
the specialist would compare her damaged nose to that of a car crash victim. In the painful reconstruction, the surgeon used part of Rowan's rib and liquid from her scalp. Five years after the initial botched procedure, the woman's nose was fixed. She sued Ottoviani, and an expert report concluded he'd failed to adequately explain the risks of three revision surgeries to her. Rowan won the medical negligence action in court, and Ottoviani was ordered to pay her £100,000. According to updates on the matter, she'd only received 1% of that sum, while Ottoviani reportedly continued to fly in and work at private clinics in the UK. Number 1. Mariella on E! Entertainment's show Botched in 2019, a woman sought to have corrective surgery for a rhinoplasty that had been not only executed poorly but also unwanted. The 41-year-old, who only identified herself as Mariella, had opted for liposuction while visiting family in Peru. She went in for an appointment with a well-known local doctor who told her that he could perform the surgery the very next day. Mariella, then 19 years old, had only asked for slight liposuction on her stomach. However, she woke up with bandages on her face and a new nose. She'd never wanted the procedure, but the doctor told Mariella he'd done her a favor. She never saw him again after the operation. Worse still, upon removing the bandages, Mariella saw that the nose with which she'd once been happy was badly damaged. Her nasal passages were severely inflated and her nostrils were almost entirely closed off. It took decades for Mariella to trust another surgeon to fix the damage. Thanks for watching. Would you rather eat the same food for two years or lose your ability to taste anything for six months? Let us know in the comments section below.